Hey guys, Mr. Backerberg here. This is lesson 1.5. We're going to focus on using special angle relationships to find angle measures. The first angle pair we're talking about are complementary angles, and you might be able to tell based on the picture that we got, especially this bottom right hand side. But complementary angles are two angles that when you add them together, it equals 90 degrees. So if we're looking at our picture, this one on the bottom right hand side, like I said, it's easy to see that those are 90 degrees because it's got that red box down in the bottom left hand corner. But these other two angles on the left hand side, those are also complementary even though they're not together. These two angles on the right hand side that are touching, we would call adjacent. And that just means they're right next to each other. These other two angles on the left hand side, well these ones are just non-adjacent. They're not right next to each other. They're not connected. Our next angle pair are supplementary angles. And these are two angles that when we add them together it equals 180 degrees. Just like we had with our complementary angles, we could have adjacent, like down on the bottom here, or we could have non-adjacent supplementary angles. In this first example, we're told that angle A and angle C are complementary. Remember, complementary means that when we add them together, it equals 90 degrees. So if we were to take these two pieces of information, we would say the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle C equals 90 degrees. Now if we look a little bit further, we know that the measure of angle A is 47 degrees. So out in front right here where we've got the measure of angle A, I could just replace that with 47 degrees. And then we've got plus the measure of angle C equals 90 degrees. What we're going to do is we're going to figure out how big angle C is. And this is going to work just like algebra equation solving. We can take this 47 degrees and subtract it over to the right hand side. Then our equation says that the measure of angle C is 43 degrees. Our next example is dealing with supplementary angles. So here we've got angle B and angle C. So I'm going to say that the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C equals 180 degrees now that we're dealing with supplementary angles. Here we're told the measure of angle B is 133 degrees. So I'm going to fill that into this equation. So 133 plus the measure of angle C equals 180 degrees. Now if we do a little bit of subtraction, subtract the 133 from each side, we should get the measure of angle C to be 47 degrees. In this example, we're told that angle J and angle K are supplementary. So that means the measure of angle J plus the measure of angle K equals 180 degrees. For the measure of angle J, we're told that's 2Y plus 28. So I'm going to plug that in. We've got 2Y plus 28 plus, now for the measure of angle K, we know that's 4Y plus 26. So I'm going to fill that in. And this equals 180 degrees. Now we've got an algebra equation that we need to solve on the left hand side. So we've got 2y and 4y. If we add those things together, that's 6y. The 28 plus the 26 is going to give us 54. And that equals 180. Now if we subtract the 54 from both sides, we end up with 6y equals 126. And then dividing both sides by 6, we end up with y equals 21. But we're not quite done, because if we take a look at the directions, it says that we're supposed to find the measure of each one of our angles. So now that we have this y value of 21, what we need to do is go back up to these algebraic expressions and replace the y with our 21. So for the measure of angle j, we're going to go 2 times 21 plus our 28. Well, 2 times 21 is 42 plus 28. And if we add those together, we get 70. Now for the second one, we don't necessarily need to plug in the 21. We know that these angles are supplementary. So we could just use the fact that they have to add up to 180 degrees and knowing that angle J is 70 degrees to help us out. But if we did want to plug in the 21, we could go with 4 times 21 plus 26. 4 times 21 is 84 plus 26. If we add those together, we should get 110. 
and we can double check with both of these angles, make sure that they do add up to 180 degrees. 70 plus 110 is 180. In our next example, we're told that angle Q and angle R are complementary this time. So the measure of angle Q plus the measure of angle R equals 90 degrees since they're complementary. We know that the measure of angle Q is 7x minus 10. So let's fill that in, 7x minus 10. Plus, for the measure of angle R, we've got 2x minus 8 equals 90. Again, combine like terms, we've got 7x and 2x, so that's 9x. We've got negative 10 and negative 8, so that's minus 18 equals 90. And again, we're going to work on solving this. So with that minus 18, I'm going to add 18 to both sides. So we end up with 9x equals 108. Last step, we're going to divide by 9 to get an x value of 12. If we look at the directions, it only says find x, so we don't have to worry about plugging this x value back in to find the measure of those angles. Another pair of angles that we'll be dealing with are things called a linear pair. And a linear pair happens when we have two adjacent angles. They do have to be connected two adjacent angles that form a straight line. So this would be adjacent supplementary angles because a straight line or a straight angle has a measure of 180 degrees. Our last angle pair that we're going to be dealing with are things called vertical angles. And vertical angles happen when we have like an X shape with a couple of lines. And vertical angles are the opposite pairs of angles. So if we were looking at this picture, three and 5 are opposites of each other. They're across from each other. Our other pair that we have, 4 and 6, would also be considered vertical angles because they are across from each other. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.